Yesterday ends in a trading range. It is a trading range rather than a bear channel because bar 78 is a massive bear surprise and breakout below an already developing bear channel, bars 73 to 77, and because there was not follow-through selling but instead the start of a rally. Today on the 30-minute chart, the market remains within the trading range of the past several days. Until there is a breakout, follow-through, and breakout test, it is reasonable to assume the market will remain within this range. Treat the high of the range as a resistance area and the low of the range as a support area. Since the market is opening within the upper third of the trading range and after a sell-off near the top yesterday, it's reasonable to look for a double top today. Today's context for the open, today opens as a small gap up to the middle of the trading range going into yesterday's close after a V-top sell-off yesterday. Since the market is near the top of the trading range on the higher time frame, it's reasonable to look for an early short today. If there is strong bullish momentum from the open, be ready to watch for a breakout above the high of yesterday, follow through, and then a breakout test. The first thing I ask during the open is, did the market open within the price action of yesterday? Today features a small gap up to the middle of the trading range going into yesterday's close. When the market opens within the range of the prior day, the high, low, and close of that day are relevant levels for the current day. I don't cover breakouts of those levels in today's video, but viewing today's price action as a trading range breakout down is also a valid way of looking at the market today too. Bar 7 is a bear surprise after a lower high test of the high of yesterday, bars 3 to 4. I have mentioned in the past that major bear reversals rarely produce a good signal bar to short below, you cannot short below bar 7 because your stop loss would be too far away. Instead, it's best to look for a 50% pullback after a bear surprise that is in a good location near the top of the trading range on the higher time frame and after a double top lower high. Remember, a bear surprise in a good location has a high probability of a second leg down. One way to catch a 50% pullback move is to wait until a bar closes that is at least a 50% pullback, such as bar 8, and then start shorting below bars once the distance from the short to the bar 7 high is within your risk tolerance. You can short below good signal bar 41 at the 20 EMA for a test of the bar 30 low. See my best setup for beginner series if you have not, starting from January 24, 2024. Remember, the first major break of a bear trend line should lead to a test of the low before any major reversal can occur. This test of the low can be a higher low, equal low, or lower low. After the bear trend resumes after the bear trend line is broken, you can go long above a high 2 or a good signal bar, such as bar 48 which is a double bottom test of the bar 30 close. If this is too much risk, it's reasonable to skip the trade. Due to the bear sell-off early in the day, the best the bulls are likely to create is a trading range, not a bull trend. Today ends in a trading range into the close. 
bulls see a double bottom major trend reversal to test the top of the trading range on the higher time frame chart. Bears see a 50% pullback of the bear sell-off and will try to create a breakout below the higher time frame trading range for a measured move down.